As a surveyor, I believe that point clouds are useless. While everybody sits around and praises point cloud outputs like they're the holy grail of geospatial data, I'm here to tell you that they are a waste of space, figuratively and literally. To a surveyor, a point cloud offers little to no value unless you know how to poll information. Let me explain. When I first graduated from college, I landed an entry-level job at a surveying company that had just landed a massive utility mapping contract with one of the largest energy distributors in Detroit. Their goal was to use drones to map neighborhoods in Metro Detroit. They figured, hey, this kid just graduated from a geomatics program and he knows drones. Let's have him build us a bunch of point clouds. So they bought me a brand new drone. And so I spent the next several months flying the drone, capturing thousands of images. And once I'd completed the first phase of the project, we bought a subscription for a photogrammetry software, did my best to process this data, although nobody had ever done this before. And when I finally had a point cloud, I sent it to the client. And the client called us and said, what the hell do you want me to do with this LAS file extension? And so I turned to the survey department and said, hey guys, what do I do? And believe it or not, 10 licensed professional surveyors, all managers at this company, with decades of experience, all shrugged and said, we don't know. And in that moment, I realized I'm completely alone. I had no guidance, no roadmap, and no one that understood how 3D data was created, let alone how to convert that 3D data into a CAD deliverable. A seven-figure contract was on the line. Our company had gotten so desperate trying to figure out what was going on, they even started calling competitors to try to help us finish the project, and the cost to bring on a subcontractor was so high that we would actually lose money on these projects. And everybody was looking at me like it was my fault, when in reality, these point clouds were useless. You ever get that gut-wrenching feeling that the $50,000 drone and the years of technical training that you got are just not enough and the project is on a standstill because you have no idea how to give them the deliverables that they asked for. But eventually, I did figure it out. I learned how to clean up a point cloud, how to process it correctly, and how to properly bring it into AutoCAD Civil 3D and turn my 3D data into the desired 2D data and be able to create the deliverables that our clients were requesting. And those weeks of struggling trying to solve this problem not only saved the project, but it also built up my skills as a growing surveyor. And that's all thanks to the systems and workflows that I had developed when I was trying to solve this problem. Nobody taught me any of this. I had to reverse engineer the workflow. And what bothered me the most was why did I have to learn all this all by myself? Why wasn't there any resources designed to teach surveyors and drone pilots how to bring a point cloud into Civil 3D and extracting meaningful information for our survey drawings? In our industry, the ones who keep their jobs and make the most amount of money are the ones who are able to deliver a final product. The data collectors, the ones flying drones or capturing scans or setting control, they're seen as technicians, replaceable, billable at $300 a day. But the ones that are operating Civil 3D, the ones that are producing construction drawings from raw data, they're the professionals that are essential for business. And they're billed out at like $3,000 a project. Here's what most surveyors and drone pilots don't understand. Your client doesn't want your point cloud. They don't want your ortho image. They want a solution to their problems. The contractor needs construction drawings. The developer needs site plans. The attorney needs a boundary survey and easement exhibits. And municipalities need as-built surveys. The difference between these deliverables and the raw data is that they're actually getting information that will help them solve their problems. When you deliver the completed solution, you become more than just an employee. You become a valuable asset in the marketplace. These skills travel with you. Knowing how to use CAD software like Civil 3D is always going to be high in demand and very profitable. And that's why I created what I wish existed when I needed it most. 
a step-by-step -step system designed for surveyors and geospatial specialists who want to transform their geospatial data into valuable CAD deliverables. And this summer, I've decided to create something special. Introducing CAD Camp 2025, an interactive experience that will teach you everything you need to know about AutoCAD Civil 3D. This isn't just another online course. It's an eight week interactive experience where we'll tackle CAD together as a community. Not only are there interactive lectures to learn Civil 3D, but also live calls where you can ask questions and influence the content and you'll have direct access to me during the development process. Andrew recently posted that he's excited to get started in his surveying journey. He recently accepted a position as a survey CAD technician, having no experience in surveying prior to joining the survey school. Mark has transitioned from being just a drone operator to actually understanding the deep methodologies of surveying by being a part of the survey school and connecting with surveyors from around the world. Joseph is a professional engineer working towards getting his professional survey license, and he actually passed the final exam for the introduction to survey course, and he says that the formatting is actually actually tighter than what you would see in a professional licensing exam, suggesting that our courses and exams are actually modeled after practical experience. And this gives you real practical knowledge when you're in the survey school and you're actually going to learn what is important for our industry. And if you're on the fence about learning Civil 3D and joining CAD Camp, I'm giving away Module 1 absolutely for free. Just click on the link down below where you will have access to all of the lectures in Module 1 absolutely for free. You'll also see our curriculum for CAD Camp and all of the different lectures that are coming out in the next couple of weeks and what you can expect to learn in order to improve your skills in Civil 3D. CAD Camp 2025 has already started and spots are filling up fast. I'm dedicating the entire summer to CAD Camp to ensure that every student inside of the survey school has the CAD skills they need in order to produce profitable deliverables. Don't wait until a problem arises. Sharpen your skills today and join us at the survey school.